Hello traders, welcome to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today's topic is option spreads. We are going to learn about credit spread and debit spread today. But before we get started, we are going to analyze the market a little bit and understand how it has reacted. So let's analyze the market. So this is a three minute chart of 11th of October. And uh, if you are aware of my strategy, my strategy is about super trend and moving averages. So you can see the first three minute candle has actually closed above the 200 period moving average, which is a very strong uh, bullish setup. So here you go long and uh, you can exit after this this is 180 pair 180 setup where one green candle is completely taken out by these two candles so if you combine these two candles it's a pair 180 setup here so you can exit here and then you get a second short entry here and you wait till the price crosses below the 220 period moving average and you can add your position here one and then there is a second setup which is again a red candle on a 200 period moving average which is closing below the 200 period moving average here you can add two and then this is your green bar ignored setup where you have a red candle and then a green bar which is completely taken out here you can add your position and the same way here you can add your position and either you can get out here close all your trades or you get out at this level because after this setup you're exiting your trade here after this the market stayed in the sideways range for the entire day you could have written a straddle here after this and you know made profit with that so this is how you can trade and uh, these are very simple techniques the more simple you keep it will be easy for you to trade so i use super trend and moving averages to identify and if you trade on a higher time frame it will be much more easier also if you're using option you can sell a put here or buy a call here and here you can actually sell a call or buy a put so that's how you can trade options and then here you can sell both by sell both call and put and make a straddle and continue for the rest of the day because where it has started it has ended there so you would have been in profit with the time decay factor okay so let's get back to our topic So we are on options, obstra option defined edge. We are going to analyze our strategy here. So let's look at the option chain. So market is pretty much at 28,042. So if you have to do a credit spread, we always choose a strike which is out of the money. So we are going to choose 28,100 and 28,300. So 28,100 call out of the money you're going to sell this and 28 300 calls the strike difference is about 200 points in bank nifty nifty you can choose 100 points so this is how it looks max profit is about 1600 max loss is about 2321 so the view has to be right if you're going for this strategy if you were your view goes wrong then you're losing this 2321 so how does this work? This is an out of the money call credit spread you're doing. So similarly, if you, so now if you say that you have formed a view and the view goes wrong, what you need to do? You can actually convert this into an iron condo. So we will choose a strike which is 28,000 and 27,800. So 28,000 put we can write. 
sell one lot and 27800 put you can buy one lot so this is the range which you get so in this max profit if the price stays in between it's 3778 max loss is triple two so this looks good but uh, when you have already placed a credit spread and then you are changing your view the prices may not be the same so this diagram will differ in the real market scenario but if you are taking all the legs simultaneously this is going to be your dialogue diagram and this will be a max loss and max profit so this is one of the most safest strategy which you can try and try increasing the quantity and do it but uh, here the play is the market has to stay in this range which is about uh, about 28 about 450 points range which is very small range for bank nifty it can move 500 points easily in a day so you have to build the range a little bigger so maybe you can actually extend this to 27,700 uh, and 27,500. You can do it like that. Say 27,500, 27,700, you sell. And 27,500, you buy. So the range gets extended and this is the most safer way to play. You are losing a maximum of 1000 rupees but gaining a maximum profit of 3000 rupees with only one lot. Mm -hmm. So this is how the credit spreads can be used and adjusted by converting them into iron condor if your view goes wrong. And how do we define a view? You can use any of my strategies which I have thought as like best intraday setup or moving averages strategies. You can use them to form a view on the market. So now let's understand how does debit spreads work. So let's go to the option chain. Debit spread you are always going to buy an in the money option and sell an out of the money option. So in this case we are going to take say 28200 in the money and sell a 28000 put. So we are going to buy a 28200 put and sell a 28,000 put which is out of the money. So let's see how it looks. This looks like this. So you have a 200 point difference. Here the max loss is minus 2,000, max profit is 1,800. So in this case also you can always go and create an iron fly or an iron condo. This will be called as long iron fly or long iron condo. Here the max loss is defined to 2000. If you increase the difference, say if you are, uh, I think I just made a mistake. No, this will fine. So you can actually say 27900. Put your selling. So your max profit becomes 3300, max loss becomes 2700. So here, you're fixing your loss to 2700 and if you gain, you gain big. So you can do this consistently on a daily basis. If your view is right, you will always make this profit. And if your view goes wrong, you make a small loss. So this is how you can play around. And there are always ways to adjust this by writing another uh, debit spread on the opposite side. So let's see how it looks if we write another spread. 28,200 put we have taken. So here we'll take 27,900 and 28,100. So we will say 27,900 call. We are going to buy one lot and 28,100 call. We are going to sell one lot. So in this, your risk becomes nil actually. 27,900 you are buying at 505, 28,100 is 200 points away, you are selling at triple four. So, this is, looks good on the paper, but in reality you have to see how it works when the market is in the moment. So, this is how you can hedge your positions and uh, 
let's change change the strike to 28,000 and 28,200 28,000 let's see how it looks 28,000 and 28,200 so here your max loss is 600 rupees I bought a 28,200 put and I bought a 28,000 call Sold at 27,900 put, sold at 27,200 call. So let's try it once again. I think there is something. Let's see 28,100 and 27,900. 28,100 put I buy and 27,900 put sell then I convert it to 28,000 and 28,200 28,000 call which is in the money I'm going to buy and 28,200 call which is out of the money which I'm going to Send. So this is the payout diagram. Yeah, so this is the right way. So this is your long long iron condor. So here the bank nifty can move 500 points any bit of time and you will definitely make this 480 rupees profit. But max loss is 1500. So this uh, this is this can be used for an adjustment, uh, but I don't suggest this as a strategy. You can always play with the short iron condor with the wider spread so that you can get the maximum out of the range which you're uh, defining. So let's understand what are the rules which you need to follow. So most of the things I've explained, so, but important rule for credit spread is always sell out of the money and but debit spread always buy in the money strikes. So if you ask me which one I personally use, I personally use credit spreads a lot. And then if my trade goes wrong, I convert them into iron condors and get out with the minimum profit or minimum loss for that day. So that will be the best uh, best strategy for you. you. You know, in options, there is always a flexibility that you go directional, then you convert that into spreads, then you convert that into iron condor and still manage your day with the minimum loss and come out with profits. So that is the beauty of options. So that's that's the topic for today. And uh, thank you for watching. And do subscribe to my channel. And uh, please leave your comments if you want certain topics to be covered in my videos. And uh, have a great day. And do uh, watch all the videos which I have shared on intraday setups and moving averages. And, and also a big thank you for all the viewers because I have crossed my 1000 subscriber mark. Thank you so much for watching.